Alright guys, today's review is not necessarily special, but I've been trying to do it for two months. Uh, but one thing after another kept happening, one complication after another, uh, and I just, I, don't, I did not have a very good January or February. I never really have a good January. For whatever reason, Januaries are always terrible for me. Something always goes wrong. I'm, as I, I never, never look forward to New Year's because January always sucks. But then this time February sucked too, so it was not a good, uh, it was not a good couple of months. What I wanted to do was this this review of the Deacon from Prometheus, and I, you know, uh, luckily I managed to get my hands on one because oddly enough, they kind of were like selling out all over the place. And see what I thought was you know, months ago, I was like, oh, I should probably go ahead and get that Deacon because I've always been telling myself. To get it, it's just that I've always seen it for like the in, in between the, for like seventy to eighty dollars, like in that price range. So I was like, that's kind of a lot. So I will get it eventually, not now, but eventually. And I thought that was kind of okay because it seems like no one ever bought these things. And I was like, well, for whatever reason, people didn't really like Prometheus that much. I actually do like it, but um, I know a lot of other people just had problems with it or whatever. So. Uh, I just figured I could get it at any time. But then with all the positive hype with the new movies and stuff like that, I was like, you know what? I better buy it because I bet you it's just going to become randomly popular and people are going to buy it. And that's exactly what happened. And so these things were like sold out all over the place on the internet. Um, so I went to eBay and they're like, yeah, well, here's some really expensive ones, you know, where it's like, it's like $120 because it's super rare. It's like, is it? Is it super rare? Well, whatever. And then I saw one for like $80. I'm like, that sucks. But I guess I don't have a choice. I mean, I guess I, I guess I have to buy it. But I'm not dealing with that today. And, um, you know, whatever. Because I was just frustrated. So I just, I just logged out. And I was like, screw this. So then the next day when I was like, well, I guess I, I guess I just gotta pay an arm and a leg for it. I actually found it. Someone like just randomly put up another one for like twenty dollars less than that, which still isn't like great, but I mean it's better than paying eighty dollars. So I feel kind of lucky to you know have got this one, and especially because I've been I've been <laughs> I've been trying to buy the damn thing for two months so that I could do this review because I wanted to start doing more NECA reviews. Um, the reason I didn't do like the Kenner line of aliens that came out was because those came out in December and like an idiot I was all full of the Christmas spirit and I was buying gifts for other people so all the money that would have went to buying xenomorphs for myself went to buying gifts for other people and that's a mistake. Lesson learned. I'm not doing that again. But um, now that I've committed myself to being extremely selfish, I should have much more uh, money to spend on NECA to do more NECA reviews. So let's go ahead and start this new year with this new NECA review. Okay, so first let's look at the accessories, and the Deacon comes with this kind of weird stand that's like, I don't know, like as if he's wearing high heels, uh, but the way that his feet are arched, uh, you actually need this thing. He, I mean, because I'm stubborn, I tried for a while to get him to stand up on his own, and he, he really doesn't. Uh, that's not the biggest deal to me, is I like, to, I like my Xenomorphs to kind of all be like in a kind of crouching curled up pose but if you wanted him to stand well yeah then you're gonna need this so luckily it came with that it's completely different than than their other xenomorph stands which I think are usually garbage so there's that and then also I think these are um, I don't know kind of cute maybe that's not the right word to use but it's those little snakes or just the snake but you get two of them 
So you get this snake when it opens up, whatever. These little wings are on its head, and then one where it's closed. Um, these are like a really gross, kind of pale pink color. It actually looks like maybe I made them myself out of chewing gum. Um, the only unfortunate thing is you can see the little holes there. But that is to facilitate the bendy wire. And so that is actually nice that it does come with a, a little bendy wire. I don't think this thing looks as gross as it did in the movie. Like in the movie it looks so weird. Like in the movie it was with that guy. It's like why are you touching it? Why are you even talking to it like it's a puppy? What are you doing dude? Uh, yeah that thing did not, did not look cute in, in the movie. But yeah so you get that. Uh, and then just this closed one. Actually with the closed one it's like the same thing. But if you hold it this way it looks like maybe it's a gigantic tongue. And then I guess if you hold it the other way, it looks like something else. Uh, so yeah, the Deacon comes with these two marital aids. Now the other thing it comes with is this engineer head where he is extremely constipated. This is, he's not having a good day. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is the head that they pick up and take with them. Uh, and then they try and like reanimate it back to life or whatever. That was really creepy. Um, but it looks really neat. I mean, on the bottom, it's kind of boring. I'm, I'm not really sure. It just looks like it's furry. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be fur. But the actual face looks really cool. Like the work done with the teeth. And then just the overall, like, uh, expression, like, you can tell, like, that's agony, like, it's not having a good, not having a good time. And then in addition to that, the other part of that helmet, what is it with these engineers and their helmets? Like, it's like the, when they were going to make, oh, we need, we need space suits and we need space helmets, and it's like, some dude rose his, raised his hand and was like, uh, oh, what if we look like anteaters, or... Elephants. What is to me? This looks more like an anteater. That's such a weird design, but I think it's cool looking. It made I don't know. For me, like watching Alien, and then this is what we always saw the engineer as having like these this kind of helmet, and then for it to be revealed that that is in fact a helmet and not like you know because it always seemed as if though this was an actual face, and then this was just some sort of gas mask. For it to be revealed that no, it's a helmet. And it's these giant white guys underneath. That was kind of trippy. But it looks really, really cool. And then what you can do is you can just put these together. And then there you go. So that's kind of neat. Uh, for the most part, I don't expect Xenomorphs to ever really come with much in the way of accessories. And so this one came with a few, so I actually think that's pretty nice. Okay, now here is the figure itself. And I like it. I, I mean, I like it. I don't know if I like that I paid, you know, like $64 for it. It's maybe not that cool but I am glad that I have it um my only I mean my complaints are kind of nitpicky I guess they're not like they're not necessarily deal breakers but I like his blue skin right and he's kind of got this black wash over him but he also kind of has this weird it's like someone tried to pour chocolate syrup on him and I don't know why somebody would try to do that uh, or like he's like it's like oil or whatever like like he was under a car I don't know I kind of don't really like the way that 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 came out I'm, I'm guessing that's supposed to be blood I don't know I don't think that that looks that great that doesn't really bother me it's just why is it why is it there um, the other thing is that like at this part of the movie where this creature, you know, where they showed it, 
was so cool to me. I mean, I'm in the theater all alone. Nobody else went to this. I saw this like in the morning, so like there's nobody. I'm all by myself getting to watch this movie. It was like the most perfect mu movie viewing I've ever had. I, I won't, you know, to have the whole theater to myself. And I was just, it was so cool oh, when this thing came out. And like, you know, just the way that it was done. I really, really, really liked that scene. I mean, I was exhausted from having to walk all the way to this theater. Uh, it was like a two hour plus walk. And um, this made it all worth it, you know. So I really liked that scene a lot. And I liked when its mouth came out. Its second mouth thing but on this figure like this is as far as that mouth comes out and I'm using like tweezers to get it out like as much as I, I, I could and I feel like that's all right I feel like it could come out a little further I don't know it doesn't seem to come out very much and the other thing about that is really it just looks like more of a tongue Than like a second mouth, right? It just looks like he's kind of like he's really happy. Hey, he's got this kind of big smile. He just looks like he's having the time of his life. Like, <laughs> yeah, burst chests, get bitches. Like he's just, I don't know. Like he's just having too much fun. This just really makes it seem like he's having his tongue hang out. He's like the Michael Jordan of xenomorphs. So I think that that. Could have been a little better. My only real problem, I guess, is here at the shoulder. See, he's got this hinge. And that's fine. That lets him move his arm up and down. But the hinge itself, I mean, like, that doesn't move. So you can rotate the shoulder. He's got these, this bit here, but um, it's kind of a softer plastic, so you can still move it around, that's fine. But I mean, like, look, like that's, that's static, that's not moving, so you can't bring his arm forward. The, the most you could do is this, is rotate his shoulder and then bend his elbow, and then same thing for this. So that's, that's all he can do if you wanted him to, to, to put his hands forward. Like, he has to do it like that. That's really weird that he can't just... I can't... Like, he can't bring his arm up. So, I don't know. Uh, other than that, I mean, I, I like it. I like I like this pointy design that this... That the beacon has. I just think it's very sleek. I don't know. It's really cool looking to me. Um, there's not as much detail on him as there are like later, later xenomorphs where they got all this <laughs> I don't know like wires and cables all attached to them and tubes and all this stuff come out of the back in comparison the deacon is actually pretty simple again none of these things are really deal breakers I still really like him but yeah, there's that. Also, I think he's a little too big. Like, this guy is supposed to fit inside an engineer, right? And I know the engineers were bigger than regular humans already, but not by that much. This guy, I mean, even if he's in there curled up, I don't... He seems like maybe he's not the scale. He seems a little too big, you know? That's the other thing. I wish I could get him to curl up. I like to keep my xenomorphs like all kind of in more buggy poses and have them like curled up like in fetal positions but they never have ab crunches and he does not either. He has this diaphragm or you know this kind of like waist swivel which twists and turns well but it doesn't really like crunch all that well and because of the way the back is like he it doesn't really let him look back so, I don't know, there's, there's that. I mean, for articulation, he can look left, and he can look right, and he can look down, and he can look up. He's got kind of like a long neck, like his neck really rotates around on there. He's got like a Marvel Legends neck. So there's that, and then technically, 
he can close his mouth. So he's got that, and he's got this weird, like, shoulder hinge, but I mean, then you can rotate the shoulder, and then a single jointed elbow, which also rotates. And then this wrist rotation. Then he's got that diaphragm joint. And then at the hips, he's got a ball joint at the hips so he can bring his legs pretty far out. And then he's got a single hinge knee, but you can see there's kind of like a deep grooves cut into the back of his legs. Uh, so even though it's just it's just that hinge, he bends his knee like all the way. And that's really, really cool. Because the reason I like single jointed knees is because then that's usually when you get kind of like knee rotation, which is just where I feel a leg would twist more naturally than having um like a cut at the calves, like having a calf swivel, you know. Um, and then he has kind of a hinge. Well, it's really little. You don't get a whole lot out of it there. And then, of course, the ankle also twists, and it does kind of rock a little bit. But again, though, really, you're going to have to put him on that stand if you want him to stand up at all. He's just got this... Like, he's just ready to slip into a pair of high heels, so he won't really stand uh, on his own. So unless you're going to put him in some sort of like, kneeling position or something like that, that's, that's the only way. Um, otherwise, you need to stand. So, all in all... I do like this figure, but I wouldn't recommend paying a whole hell of a lot for it because there's not a whole hell of a lot going on with it. Um, and then I guess it depends on how you feel about the movie. Like, I really like Prometheus. I don't really have the same problems with it that other people do. So for me, um, I don't mind buying um, this stuff. I, I like it. I, I've wanted this for a while, and I just get putting it off and putting it off. So now... I can scratch that off the list. I do think he looks really cool. I just, again, I really, really, really like that scene in the movie. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not like a, an overly positive review. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm sure once I put it on the shelf with all the other xenomorphs and time goes by and I forget about, you know paying $60 for it and I just end up being part of my collection. I'll, I'll grow to love it more as time goes by, which I tend to do with the figures that I get.